hello and welcome back so we were building a collection view so the first thing we need to do is we need to import some images so I will just minimize this sorry reduce its size and I will select all of my images I think I have eight different images so I will select all of them and drag it here outside only okay it's done you can also copy that in the XE assets folder both are similar things this is just a sample project that's why I am creating it outside but the best practice is to drag images inside this folder so now what you have to do is we have to create an array in which we will hold all the images let images okay now let's create an array of eight images okay now let's name them one dot jpg two dot jpg okay i think all are jpg right okay so we have created our sample array which has all the names of different uh, images that we are using so instead of 10 here we can do images dot count so it will automatically create eight different cells for us so now we will do cell dot cell image dot image equal to images and then index path dot row mm, okay I think it should work it is showing us an error okay I have to do it like this mm, UI image and then named I think okay here I will do images and then index path dot row it will work this way let's build and check it's building fine so what I will do is I will just run this and check if it is working then I will explain this to you so let's play this app and see what happens I think it is running okay so you can see that this is our collection view and if we you can see that it is a simple scroll feature this is the first image and then it is showing eight different images so you can reduce the size of cell size of each so that you can display four or three or any number of images in a single row so this is basically how you create a collection view it is almost similar to table view so let's understand the code now so this was a simple array which was holding all the different names so now this was the first function which is mandatory which is number of sections so we only need a single section that's why we are saying return one and the second function is number of items in section we want it equal to number of images so that's why we are returning images dot count here third function is cell for item at index path so first what we are doing is we are creating a cell with an identifier of cell that we have specified in the main dot storyboard and then we are casting it as collection view cell okay and then we are assigning cell image to be the image name which is in the array so what index path dot row is doing it is going through 0 to 7 and it is taking all the images one by one and displaying in the collection view so basically this is how collection view works and we have created a simple collection view and let's add a function to hide the status bar 
and let's try to do some modification for our mm, cell we will try to display images more neatly so I think I will choose this I will click the cell here and let's click here and make two items and let's increase its size let's choose 182.5 nope let's choose 183 no it is 182 I will just command Z it okay let's do it to one what I will do I will make it to be 105 okay 105 good and let's add more cells okay let's change this to 110 now 115 116 118 120 let's do 122 no 121 no 120 119 okay it's not looking good so I think I should keep it to only two so I will just undo it okay so I will just do one cell only I think I should keep it this way but you can change the number of cells you want by reducing the size and it will work fine for you so let's try to run this last time and then we will finish with this video because this is about this is all about that we need to learn about collection views so let's see okay you can see that now status bar is not appearing and here are simple eight images and it is looking nice okay so thank you for watching this video this was all about collection views in iOS 10